Hey everyone, Brass Monkey here, and in this video I'll be showing you all of the best little-known sniping spots for Battlefield 1. In this video, I'll be focusing on the map Ballroom Blitz. The first spot I'll show you is the only one that you can do without a squad mate. It involves getting up on the roof above the courtyard catwalks. The benefit of this spot is that it is the easiest to get into, but it leaves you by far the most exposed. With this spot, once you hop up onto the lion statue, slowly walk forward until you are touching the bottom part of the roof, then simply jump to climb up. Start by crouching on the outer edge as shown here and eliminating all enemies between the A and B flags. Once you've done this, you can turn around and focus on the D flag. If the enemies hold the D flag, you will see a lot of them spawn on the road directly ahead of you. Lastly, if your team holds one side of the map or the other, you can jump on the top part of the roof and fire through the pillars on the turret. The next three spots I'm going to show you are excellent sniping locations, but they all three require you to work together with at least one other squad mate. Start off by spawning into a plane. I prefer the fighter as it is the most nimble, but any plane will do. If you're coming from the American spawn, you'll want to fly your plane in this pattern. If coming from the German spawn, you'll want to fly in this pattern. Switch to the third person view to get the best idea of when to bail out of the plane. You'll want to bail out over the large flat section of the roof. Once you've successfully landed on the roof, lay down to give your squad mates a chance to spawn on you. After at least one squad mate has spawned on you, redeploy back onto them with a class of your choosing. I recommend one player being support and the other a scout. At this point, you have three different directions you can go. The sloped roof straight ahead provides a great view of the catwalks and a moderate view of the gated entrance to see. You will be able to walk up this roof the first time you hop over the fence, but once you make it to the top, you will slide back down and be unable to walk up the roof again. To fix this, you must jump over the fence and back again to be able to again climb back up the roof. The next place you can go from here is the large roof overlooking the B flag. This spot provides tremendous visibility of the map, but also leaves you highly exposed. The final location you can go to from here is the balcony. This is an excellent sniping location to cover both the B flag and the German entrance to the C flag. If your team holds both the A and B flags, I recommend jumping up on the roof and sniping through the pillars at the gate entrance. For the next spot, you'll want to fly your plane in one of these two patterns depending on which spawn you're coming from. Bail out once you're over the balcony and parachute in. This is the best location on the whole map for covering the D and E flag points and can be an incredibly effective position for spawn trapping the German team. Another great strategy for this spot which will minimize your chances of getting shot is to face the C flag and shoot enemies in the back as they run through the gate below you. If you choose to face the D and E flags, make sure you have a squad mate with you. This is a fantastic sniping position, but there are a lot of angles that enemy scouts can counter snipe you from. The next sniping location is only for experienced pilots, as you will need to align your plane perfectly with very narrow part of the roof. You can stay at the top of the roof if you like, but I recommend sliding down the side and sniping from the balcony around this minaret. As you navigate around the balcony, you will need to jump around the corners, so be careful that you don't fall off in the process. After you get all the way around the balcony, there is a small space between the balcony and the adjacent roof that provides a great cover for you and makes it very difficult for enemy scouts to hit you. If you're interested in all of the best Battlefield 1 strategies, in-depth weapon statistics like damage, time to kill, recoil charts, and more, then you may want to check out the Ultimate Utility app for your smartphone. I've placed a download link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.